I'm going to break up Charlie's wear schedule at the splint into night and day. So during the day, I really want to focus on functional mobility and incorporating that splint into his daily routine and daily activities, whether that's playing with toys or basketball, mealtime, screen time, so when he wanted to play video games, um, trying to aim for about 40 minutes to an hour three times a day, again, while doing functional things that he does in his everyday routine. While he is doing that, I'm going to have the owner stay in his splint and, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to remove the owner stay from his splint and that's just going to give him better range and be able to use it more functionally. While as at night, I want to really focus on range of motion and keeping that stay in the splint and that's going to just give him a long time to stretch and increase his range of motion while he's asleep so it won't be interfering with his everyday activities. And the precautions and just things I want to talk about with the family is that the reason we're only doing it for a few, maybe three hours during the day is because we get so much sensory input through our hands that I don't want to take away that sensory input and therefore cause any delay to his development. I want him to get that sensory input throughout the day. And during the night when he's sleeping is really when the focus is going to be on increasing that range of motion. Um, other things that I want to talk about with them are just wear and tear of the splint. So making sure they wash it every week and um, not leaving it in any hot areas and just being cautious and careful with it because he's sex and it's easy to break. Thanks.